Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video about things that I'm kind of obsessed with right now. Um, I have a few makeup products, I have some hair care products, some bikinis, and I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys going into the summer. Maybe you guys will like some of the products that I'm using, maybe you want to try it out. But I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is makeup, and the first thing is this Lime Crime eyeshadow palette. Now this palette actually has a little bit of a backstory. I won this in a giveaway with a beauty influencer on Instagram. I actually won like the major prize, which is like this highlighter trio, I think, and then like three of their Lime Crime Diamond lip crushers. But they sent me this by accident. I haven't been able to get a hold of the influencer that I won the giveaway from. So I just kind of like accepted the fact that I'm gonna get this. And the people that won these little eyeshadow palettes could pick the colors that they wanted. I think there was three to choose from. I got this one in the mail. I mean, obviously. Obviously I'm not going to use every single color, but I'm mostly obsessed with this color here, this transition shade. This is called Chew, and then this color over here, this rose gold kind of champagne color called Pop. And um, I've really, really, really been loving this palette. Like, the formula is really creamy. The colors are super blendable. Like, that color Chew, I just use as a transition shade. And I use it on my eyes today. The rose gold is this really pretty kind of subtle shimmer. I really, really, really like it. And I don't think these are super expensive. They kind of remind me of these Polly Pocket toys that I used to have as a kid. So I thought this packaging was really cute and really cool. I don't know much about the brand itself, but I mean, this packaging is amazing. Their formula is really good, really smooth. And actually, I'm really excited to play with some of the other colors. I've only really played with those two colors, but their formula is really, really good. So I've really been loving this one. The next thing is this Huda Beauty um, Winter Highlighting Palette. And I know this is the winter highlighting palette, but I've been really obsessed with it. And like, Texas is really sunny right now, and these colors are just so pretty. Like they have this iridescent kind of purpley color over here called Arctic Glow, and it is so pretty on the skin. Like especially on like my skin tone, like that color in the summer, <gasps> you are gonna glow, like I swear, you will glow. And like all of these colors are so pretty, so pigmented, so creamy, they're so smooth. Like this formula is amazing. I know this is a little bit more on like the pricier side, but I have been loving this palette. It is so pretty and I'm literally just obsessed with it. And the next thing is a plumping serum. It is this plumping serum from Hard Candy. I got this from Walmart for I believe it was like five or six dollars. And I'm obsessed with plumping serums. Like I love lip plumpers. Like I always love just my lips look more plump and like juicy I guess but this one has been doing like a really 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 good job and this is just like the clear oh Jesus okay I think I broke it I don't know what I just did oh my god but it's like seeping out okay anyways it's just this clear lip topper and the tingling is really 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 subtle like you literally barely know it's there and it doesn't hurt like it doesn't make your lips super red or anything and I really like the clear gloss finish on it because sometimes I don't want color you know I just want to like put a little lip plumper on and this is one of like the best ones that I found and I bought one that was like you know $30 like hurt really bad it had like bee venom in it or something and it just really stung but this one is really nice super subtle like it feels really nice on your lips and it's only like six dollars so if you're looking for a new lip plumper i would really suggest this one i've been obsessed with it and the next thing i'm going to talk about are hair care kind of products and i've been obsessed with this aussie scrunch mousse it's just this 24 hour curl lock. Um, I got this from Walmart. This is really good for the summer. I mean, I'm sure you guys know how mousse works. Like I just really like using mousse in the summer. It makes your hair look a lot more kind of like natural beachy look, you know? So I've been obsessed with using this and because my hair is so damaged, I don't want to use like too many chemicals on it. So if I don't feel like straightening my hair or curling my hair, I'll just use this instead kind of as like a supplement, I guess. It's super inexpensive. It doesn't make your hair feel super greasy at least not for me and I do have kind of more like oily hair it's like I can't like this stuff is literally just amazing and then I wanted to talk quickly about these Garnier oh, the lid's not even on oh god 
I just want to talk quickly about these Garnier Fructis one minute hair masks. These were super inexpensive at Walmart. I'm obviously super into hair care products, trying to fix my hair and save my hair right now from all the bleaching I did to it. So I got the damage repairing treatment. Um, this is the papaya extract one. And then I also got the strengthening treatment, which is the banana extract. And one, these smell amazing. Like they smell so good. They smell like summer. They smell like a tropical vacation, you know? And you put it from root to tip after you shower. You literally leave it, leave it on for like a minute. So you can go put your face wash on while you're doing that. And by the time that you're done, your hair mask is ready to be rinsed out. So I think it's super convenient for people that don't have a lot of time to do like, like 30 minute hair masks, you know? Or like deep conditioning treatments. Like this is really good. And like, I've noticed a difference. Like my hair felt really soft and really fluffy and kind of healthy for like a quick minute you know so I've been obsessed with these I know that they have like a bunch of different ones I know that they have like a smooth one and I think they probably have like a curly hair one or something like that or like a shine you know that kind of stuff but I just got the damage and strengthening ones because that's what kind of applies to my hair but I know that they have quite a few other ones so if you're looking for a new hair mask I would suggest these super inexpensive super easy and super quick and yeah and then really quickly before I go into kind of fashion and bikinis I want to talk about this oh god I want to talk about this oh I'm, I really can't butcher this because I was in French immersion until grade 12, so it'll be really disappointing if I don't get this. But it's the, it's the Eau Thermale, it's the Eau Thermale Aven, Aven, Avenue. I'm just gonna show you guys and hopefully you can figure it out. It's literally just this face sunscreen from, I think I got it from Sephora. Um, it is SPF 50. You're actually supposed to put this on underneath of like your makeup or something because it is just like an ultra light hydrating sunscreen face lotion. It's not really greasy. It actually has like a matte finish so it works really well under your makeup. And it's super important obviously to wear sunscreen over the summer. Like, I can't stress it enough. Like sunscreen is so important. You don't want any wrinkles so if you're looking for a good sunscreen to use under your makeup I would suggest this one I can't remember how expensive it was I don't think it was very cheap but it is very 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 good and then next I'm gonna be talking about a few bikinis um, two are actually from the same brand and then one is from a different brand uh, oh god a mess today oh my goodness okay so the first bikini is this purple one from a brand called Vita Peril they are based out of Vancouver um, they're really 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 good bikinis with good quality and I actually wore these for a training trip that I went to and I would train I would swim for two hours with this bikini on and they really don't budge that much like I've had bikinis that will literally will literally just go whenever I push off the wall you know but this one actually stays on really really well they're not super sensitive I actually have a discount code with them um, I will put that right here so you guys can see and then I will leave a link in the description box to the website and they have really 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 nice bikinis for the summer it's also super easy to become a brand ambassador with this company if you're, if you're looking for a bikini company to partner up with. I really like this brand. The top looks like this and then the back is kind of this cute little design and well they have padding which is great. I really like having padding in my bikini. That's just my personal preference and these bikinis are really nice and the colors they have really 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 nice color bikinis. And then the bottoms look like this. They're not super cheeky. They are a little cheeky but nothing too crazy and they have a string in them so you can tie them so if you're going like water skiing in the summer or like tubing or something you don't want your bottoms to fall off here you go like these are a lifesaver they are just oh, I, I love these bikinis and I also have it in a different color and they have a new set that just came out it's called the tan babe collection for more cheekier swimsuit if you don't want to make as many tan lines obviously but I only have this one right now I have it in black and white then I have it in that lilac color this one has the same thing with the string and then this top is a little bit different the top is just like this black and white super simple super nice the back is just like this and I really love their brand um, I would suggest getting those for the summer they're really really nice bikinis and yeah and then the last bikini is it's pretty similar to the other ones but if you're looking for kind of like a cheaper alternative I would go to Zaffle they have cheap bikinis you kind of just get what you pay for with Zaffle I'm sure most of you know if you've ordered from them like the quality isn't bad but it's obviously not the best but I like this bikini I got this last summer for a trip 
to Florida. I'm bringing this with me again because I leave for Florida tomorrow. So I'm really excited. So that's why I want to talk about bikinis a little bit. And this one did not come with padding, which I don't really like because when it gets a little cold, you can kind of see through it a little bit. So I prefer the padding in them, but this one's still really nice. It's a really pretty color as well. I don't really like the bottoms, but the top's really nice. And my sister has a bunch of bikinis from Zaffle as well, and she really likes those. If you're looking for kind of like a cheaper alternative, I would just go to Zaffle or Romwe. I think it is. They also have cheaper bikinis. And for fashion, I'm gonna talk about the American Eagle shorts in the summer. <gasps> the American Eagle shorts that they have are amazing. Like, American Eagle is the only place that I buy my denim shorts from. I think I have like five pairs from them. They have really good sales in the summer, like buy one, get one half off. These ones were $10. They just look like this. They have little designs kind of all over them. They had a really good sale on their website near the end of the summer and so I got these and they, and they have like the buttons instead of the zipper which I really like because then I don't have to worry about my zipper falling down. But their jean shorts are really good quality. They're really nice. They're very flattering as well and I would have trouble finding shorts that were kind of flattering on me because I didn't want tight shorts but I also didn't want super super loose shorts either. So these were like the perfect like in the middle and they weren't too expensive. As I said, they do have sales over the summer and going into spring. So I would go and check those out if you're looking for new denim shorts and then I wanted to share kind of like my advice for crop shirts for the summer. I go to the thrift store and I find a t-shirt for like $1.99 and I literally just crop it. Like I got this shirt at the thrift store for literally 99 cents and then I literally just cropped it myself. I just took some scissors and just dealt with that and I've done that to a good amount of shirts now and it just makes it so easy because in the summer you just want to have something flowy and cropped with your denim shorts, you know? So I would really, really recommend just going to the thrift store and buying some t-shirts you like the design of and just cropping them. And this is another shirt that I cropped over the summer just to kind of show like an example of what I mean. Like this shirt literally just said a dog wags its, a dog wags its tail with its heart. And I thought that was just so cute and the color was really pretty. So I literally just, so I literally just like cropped it. And it's really, really cute with denim shorts, really, really easy. And that's really all I do for like my crop shirts for the summer. Um, I basically live in crop shirts just because they're really easy and they can look super cute without having to try really hard. And that is all for the things that I'm obsessed with. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.